Hello friends, welcome back. My name is Simone. How are you today? I talk incessantly on this channel about my favorite sunscreens. I'm talking Perita, I'm talking Biore, I'm talking Catalabo. There's one that I mention all the time as being my all time favorite sunscreen, which a lot of people actually don't talk about. I've never actually heard anyone else talk about this. I stumbled upon the sunscreen by happenstance, which I'll talk about in a minute. And that is the Sam's Ego Earth Power Aqua Sun Gel SPF 50 PA+++++. I've mentioned it as early back as my like a very, very early uploads, but I rarely ever demonstrate why it is that I like it or explain to you guys why that is. That being said, it's because it's not the easiest sunscreen to get in the US. Whenever I happen to be able to stumble upon it though and order it, I order three or four at a time and it's so bad that I even prevent my boyfriend from using it. Before I get into today's video, I'm gonna ask that you hit the subscribe button and the notification bell so that you know when I post more sunscreen related content on my channel. Give this video a thumbs up if you like these single product review videos just because I'm trying these out as being like a Holy Grail series maybe, I don't know. And down below, have you tried this? Or after watching the video, will you try this? Cause again, this is, I think, top tier, number one favorite sunscreen of all time. As I mentioned, this is really hard to get in the US. I've only ever seen one or two stores that are like the same stores. And that was in New York, which was actually back in January. That's where I got my last little supply of it. But there is a website that I find that regularly stocks it. Sometimes Amazon does, sometimes YesStyle does, but it's very inconsistent. But the website that I generally get it from when I need to order it is Stylevana. Stylevana is a website that I discovered like, I think like two years ago. And I remember it popped up once when I was trying to order this and I was like, I've never heard of this website. Do you think it's legit? Asking my boyfriend. But the thing when you have to consider is when you're shopping for these kind of Asian beauty products is that some websites have counterfeit or kind of modified or like compromised products. So you have to be sure that who you're buying from is an authorized retailer or reseller of those items. Stylevana is. Stylevana reached out to me and I'm having a collab video coming up with them very soon, but they did give me a 10% off code for you guys to use. If you want to get this and or other products that I link below regularly, like my Misha essence is available through them or any other Korean or Japanese beauty products, check out Stylevana, use code somewhere on screen, I'm gonna put it, get 10% off. I do earn a small commission, it's very teeny tiny, but I'm not monetized yet, so it's a win-win for both parties. This video is not sponsored by Stylevana at all, they just gave me the discount code and I figured it'd be useful to you guys. I mentioned that I stumbled upon this by accident, this actually goes back to the time that I visited Seoul, which is like three or four years ago I think right now. We were walking, me and my friend Mary, in the area of town called Myeongdong, which is like the main shopping district. And in that area, you have all these vendors, like in this one main strip and all these arterial streets and people like will be outside their stores trying to entice you in. And so we're walking down the strip and these people are outside like trying to give you samples or whatnot to pull you in. And you walk past this place handing out free sheet masks. And I'm not about to turn out a free sheet mask. We're in Korea, like come on. And so I'm like, fine, we'll go in your store. And it was the same store. So we walk in and I beeline it for the sunscreens because I'm in Korea. I'm there mainly to buy sunscreen, honestly. And that's where I discovered this. Mary and I each both discovered our all-time favorite sunscreens. Her and I were just talking about this a couple weeks ago. Hers is the Eco Earth Power No Sebum Sunscreen. It's actually a combination sunscreen. She was obsessed with it. She still to this day still loves it. I prefer this one just for the texture and the formulation behind this, but to this day, like a testament. So that one little circumstance of us walking into the store by accident and having to discover our all-time favorite Holy Grail sunscreens. Let me hear. In researching for this video and like looking up the sunscreen that she bought, I realized the Sam has a really wide range of sunscreens with different formulation and ingredient bases. So if you're interested in a video where I do all the same sunscreen reviews, let me know. So with this, um, I'm not testing it in my normal way necessarily. I'm gonna be doing my five Fs kind of, but I already love the sunscreen. It's my holy grail. I'm just gonna be using that to explain to you why it is my holy grail. But the five Fs are feel, finish, filters, formulation, and foundation wear. What the feel and the finish of the sunscreen is when it's applying. What filters they use as well as what else is in the formulation to really make the sunscreen super special. And then foundation wear, how it affects the makeup wear, as well as with reapplication, how it affects the makeup wear. So the feel of this, super lightweight, very, very lightweight gel texture for the most part. As you can see the feel of this, it's a super, super lightweight. Honestly, it's even lighter than gel texture. It's a very, very moisturizing texture still regardless. It sits beautifully on the skin, giving a lightweight water cream finish. You can see in the application footage as I'm putting it on, it just goes on my skin, glides on, sits on and sinks in my skin beautifully within literally a matter of minutes. It's lightweight enough for really oily skin while simultaneously giving a great hydration and moisturizing boost for drier skin types as well. For oily skin I'd wear this as is above a couple hydrators for more dry skin types I would layer this above maybe other moisturizers it leaves you nicely moisturized and dewy without being heavy and greasy on the skin the formulation for this does have alcohol which allows the formulation to set down much more quickly on the skin that being said because it sits down so quickly and it's super lightweight texture this preps and primes the skin beautifully for makeup you can see in the application footage my skin looks 
seamless, almost poreless, very, very fresh. And then because it is so lightweight, you can see as I'm reapplying it over the makeup, I'm using my air cushion puff. The texture of this being so thin goes over the makeup so easily. And because it sets down so quickly, it doesn't affect the wear of the makeup. It just goes on, sets down. I can just go in with more powder afterwards and my skin looks flawless. I always carry my Invisimat blotting powder with me when I'm out and about. And that allows me to be able to go in, reapply, go in, reset my face so I'm not as radiant and dewy and I get more long wear out of both the makeup and the sunscreen. Here's the tea on this. Being a Korean sunscreen, they have more liberties as to what UV filters they're able to use. They do use some US approved filters, Octanox, say octosalate, octocrylene, and avobenzone, which if you know the two American sunscreens, some of these ingredients might not be the most UV stable. But the caveat with that is they pair all those sunscreens with the super sized sunscreen ingredient, Tinasorb S. Tinasorb S, when used with other UV filters that might not be as stable, acts to fortify, stabilize, and reinforce the UV protection. Tinasorb S in itself is a very, very superstar sunscreen UV filter ingredient in that it has a very, very high efficacy, very photo stable, very broad spectrum protection without leaving any white cast. It's a filter that it's designed to give you very, very high UVB protection, aka SPF, while simultaneously giving you very broad spectrum, high efficacy UVA protection as well. That's the PA4 pluses on this. As a chemical sunscreen filter, Tinostrip S is very, very safe, non-compromising, non-sensitizing, stable, non-irritating. So as a sunscreen filter, I love to see this in formulations. It's one of my top tier sunscreen UV filters. Besides the Tinosorb and the other UV filters, much like other Korean based like cosmetics and sunscreens, there's a lot of other things in the formulation to really help fortify the formulation as well as to offer benefits to the skin. This is the water-based formulation that does have alcohol. Alcohol in sunscreens isn't bad. It acts as a solvent for the UV filters as well as allowing the sunscreen to be able to set more quickly and being able to allow other ingredients to penetrate the skin a little bit more effectively but it also has butylene glycol, dipropylene glycol, isohexodecane, cyclopentasiloxane, and 1,2-hexanediol that act not only as solvents for the filters and other formulation ingredients, but also as emollients and hydrators in the sunscreen formulation as well. Beyond that, we have other antioxidant properties that are coming in from chamomile and calendula flower extracts, each of which offer antioxidant as well as non-inflammatory soothing properties to the formulation. And we also have tocopherol acetate, which is another derivative of vitamin E, which is another great ingredient to have since it not only offers antioxidant benefits in protecting the skin, but it also offers in itself some UV boosting power in the sunscreens as well and other emollient properties. Aloe vera leaf juice is also mentioned in the formulation, which to go with calendula and chamomile, it's soothing, it's anti-inflammatory, it's moisturizing as well. So with the formulation, you have the soothing anti-inflammatory ingredients. You have some wound healing ingredients, which are the calendula and the aloe. And those are ingredients I really like to see in sunscreens when you factor in that the sunscreen Screens. beyond offering just UV protection, you're in the sun. It's really beneficial to have ingredients that are going to soothe and calm your skin after UV exposure as well, considering UV and sun stress are factors that could cause exacerbation and irritation in the skin. I like the extra TLC ingredients in sunscreens. The last ingredient I wanna call out is Moringa oleifera seed oil, and essentially it's another emollient that's used in the sunscreen, but it's rich in fatty oleic acids, which also help to nourish the skin. So overall, soothing, anti-inflammatory, nourishing, antioxidants, emollients, humectant ingredients. So it's a very, very lightweight, but very nourishing sunscreen for the skin. The only negative call out I wanna make in this is that the last ingredient in this is fragrance. I personally, as I mentioned time and time again on my channel, have no beef with fragrance. There's 200 plus different compounds that can make up fragrance in an ingredient list. Not all of them are irritating. There are a select few that are, but you're not necessarily required to list those separate ingredients on an ingredient formulations list. Therefore, I know it's something people tend to look out for, especially if you have more sensitive skin types. But that being said, even when I had my contact dermatitis slash compromised skin barrier situation, this is a sunscreen I use on the regular that I found didn't irritate or cause any more inflammation related damage to my skin. It actually just helped to soothe and moisturize my skin, even though it is super lightweight. So do with that what you will. So overall, you have a super, super lightweight yet nourishing sunscreen that has some superstar UV filters in it, offering you really high photoprotective benefits. And it doesn't sit heavy and greasy on the skin. It sets super quick. This is beneficial from the most oily to the most dry skin, depending on what you pair it with. This sits amazingly underneath makeup and it reapplies beautifully on top of makeup. The main reason I keep buying this and keep going back to this beyond just the fact that I like the formulation and it works well for my skin is the fact that for 60 mil, it's only $14. Sometimes you can fight online for a little bit cheaper. Style of Honor, for example, their sale price is very substantially. So sometimes I can get this for as low as $8 when I want to. But that being said, it's only $14 plus if you use my 10% off code, you can get $1.40 off of it, depending on what the price is. So again, I have links below for Stylevana. Feel free to use my discount code when you're purchasing if you like. This is a 1000% remote recommended sunscreen that I've mentioned time and time again that I've used for multiple years now. Thank you guys again for watching. Hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so that you know when I post more sunscreen related content. Give this video a thumbs up if you liked the sunscreen itself or if you like these single product review videos and down below. 
Have you tried this? Do you like it? Will you try it? Let me know. Thanks guys, bye.